February the 7th, I guess. And it's almost Valentine coming. Valentine is coming up. But I don't know what to get my wife. But you know what? I was, I'm, I was thinking maybe I should get here some, some pots and pans. <laughs> she might kill me, but uh, you know, I'm thinking about that. You guys know that some of the stuff that Joe says, I don't see it until I'm editing, right? And all the time I'm busting up. He is so funny. <laughs> so anyways, I went to the post office to mail away some orders and I discovered that if the thing weighs more than a pound, you might as well go priority. The little priority box, the, the small one, the small flat rate is this big so it can't hold anything. So you have to go with the cardboard envelope or you have to go with the medium box. I mean, it really sucks that they kind of line it up like that, right? So let me tell you what's going on with FameBit. Um, I had my um, cooking channel registered with FameBit and I assumed that because that was already registered that then the review channel was also registered, but I guess it wasn't so. I wrote them an email asking that question and that's when they told me, no, you have to register each YouTube channel separately. So I suppose I have to fill out a W9 and you know all these tax things for each channel with FameBit. That kind of sucks. They should have all the channels on the one umbrella, right? So after they told me that, I went and I tried to regist register the channel and it says that somebody with that email was already registered with FameBit. So that had to have been me but I can't remember what password I used and I can't change the email because it goes with my YouTube channel. You just can't just put some random email that you just go make up. It has to be the one registered with your YouTube channel. So then I wrote them another email. They take 24 hours to answer and I asked them, you know, why can't I log in? I don't know what the password is. It's not allowing me to change the password, yada, yada. They answered me back and said, okay, we found the account, we deleted it, so now it's clear for you to re-register, but you have to wait 24 hours, which is tonight. So when I register that channel, I'm gonna start sending um, proposals from there. The reason that I'm pressing so hard to be able to send proposals from this channel is because this is the channel where I do my reviews from and my videos here have a lot of views. Now my cooking channel has 38,000 subscribers, but I don't get as many views, like average views I mean, to the videos as I would get here at Beer Pantry Talk. So I feel like a sponsor would more want to take me on from this channel than the cooking channel. So that's why I've been pushing so hard. So tonight. I'm gonna re-register that channel and I'm gonna start hitting it hard. I'm gonna blitz, I'm gonna rest my eyes today because I'm gonna blitz it tonight, all right? I have, I saw a sewing kit. Some company was selling this little sewing kit. Like if you sew, it has a kit with like needles and things to string the needles and thimbles and all types of stuff like that. And I would really love to promote that because you guys know that we're sewing and we're new to sewing. So there are a lot of things there that I would love to promote. Some of the things, of course, goes with the cooking channel, like knives and things to measure with and stuff like that. So I'm constantly looking at things that I can align myself with because I never want to do a product that I truly would want to promote. Like, for instance, I would never do diet pills because I would never take diet pills. Um, I would never do any of the vitamins and anything that they say will, you know, do different energy to your body. And so I would never do that because most of those things have caffeine and I have issues with caffeine. So there are quite a few things that I would not, absolutely would not, not even if they approached me and said, we'll pay you $10,000 right now to do this. As much as I need that money, I would never do it. So the things that I'm looking for are things that I know I can have fun with. Like I see a lot of YouTubers do stuff with apps and, you know, stuff for your money. But I'm, that's stuff is boring to me I don't think I want to do that so now I'm gonna start hitting the neutral bullet company very hard I don't have an email to reach them but I watched a video that Diana sent to me last night this guy was showing you how to go to their Twitter and try to find their Twitter marketing team and yada yada and I'm trying I'm trying really hard to find it because I want to deal with neutral bullet because you guys know that I love neutral bullet and I always go and buy Nutribullet and every time I put it against some other blender, it always wins. And I know they've had some bad press lately with people saying that when they put the thing to blend, it flies off and cuts them or hits them in the eye or whatever. Mine has never done that. So I could go to them and say, hey, look at all the videos I've done free of charge for you guys and how many people have bought Nutribullets because of me or Magic Bullet or whatever the bullet that they bought, right? And I, I'm an asset to you. That's how I'm going to approach them. But I need to find an email to write to them. 
And um, I really wish that they would come on board because I think I can bring a positive light to Nutribullet. You guys saw when I did the last video at the cooking channel with Colin's sister Megan. She brought over her little ninja. I already sent my ninja home to Blaze. And you could see how we had to finish off that uh, drink, that smoothie, with my little old neutral bullet. So I'm going to press this company hard to come on board because I've made them enough money. Look at my videos at this channel that has to do with the neutral bullet. Almost a million views on one of them. 700 and something thousand. 600 and something. I mean, that's a lot of views, right? So that's what I'm going to do. So it's almost time to go. It's about, what? 1227 in three minutes we're gonna to leave to take Josh to school he has to get there at 120 but it never fails that there's some type of traffic problem going on on the way over there this is the conversation that we've been having in the car Josh was rejoicing because today is the day that Jada and Colin wraps up the album so they could send it away to get it um, mastered and he goes yes we gonna stop being broke now <laughs> <laughs> Joel spit on the steering wheel just now. <laughs> I mean, we can always dream, right, Josh? Yeah, I ain't dreaming. That's happening. That's happening. They put out a good product. I'll give them that. It took them forever. We never thought they were going to be done. Joel got mad several times along the way, like, when y'all going to be done with this record, though? When? <laughs> I'm like, leave them alone. This is the first one that they're producing. They're <coughs> learning things as they go along. One spell, they thought they had a song completed. Mr. <clears throat> Mr. was completed a long time ago, right, Josh? Yes. And then they went to some mentoring classes and stuff, master class, and they found out things that they needed to change about Mr. Mr. And remember when Mr. Mr. sounded a, like a creepy song, like a Jack in the Box thing? Uh-huh. Like that. It sounded like that. I'm like, what's happening with this song, though? You know, and as a mom, you want to tell them that you're not liking it unknown caller you want to tell them you're not liking it but then you don't know how to tell them you're yeah, not I liking it i did it uh, well joe joe don't have that problem joe's like that song like short don't do that <laughs> joe will tell you right i ain't deaf you know joe move the phone i can't say man he ain't deaf you know i hear sell his song like short <laughs> Hi, baby. I'm gonna miss you. Miss <laughs> me? <laughs> huh? Yeah, you got miss daddy, baby. You got a jacket, Josh? Huh? You got a jacket? I got two. Okay, cool. It's gonna get colder later. We're messing with Josh, guys. He's that type of kid. You can mess with him. So when me and Joe come back tonight, this is right where we park, right down this little street here. Did y'all see my Marilyn Monroe? Joe was trying to expose me out there with this wind. I don't know why I put on this little light uh, pleated type skirt thingy where the wind just gets under it and just blow because it, it's pants. always blowing, huh? Put on pants in kind of weather. <clears throat> I know, but I can't even say, well, the wind wasn't blowing when we left home because it wasn't, but it's always blowing up in North Fontana where Costco is. And it was bad. I had to hold my skirt down with two hands. I couldn't, I was, I was, man, I was out of it. And Joe was like, hold the cart. I can't hold no cart. I'd rather the cart slam into the truck than for my dress to blow up. Mm -mm. I want to be exposed. You're still going to be there if you even blow. <laughs> Joe said all they're going to do is see. They're not, they can't touch. <clears throat> so we're going to Walmart because I didn't like what Joann's had. I, You know, I'm going to stop going to Joann's. I've told you guys over and over again, I'm really not liking that store. I think I've only gone there once and actually bought something. The rest of the time, I just go and get frustrated because their colors are not really on point. The greens are not really green. They're like yellow green. The reds are not really uh, red. They're like orange red. You know, they always have some type of off color going and I get solid on point colors from Walmart. So I never buy anything when I go. Plus, if I find something to buy, the line is long. There's one person cutting. They have their face in a fuss. People are in front of you. The people that are in front of you, they'll go back to the shelf and grab something else and come. And I was like, oh my God, no. I told you, don't take me there anymore. I'm starting to get fed up with going there like when I go to Ross. Ross always bring out these beautiful dresses, right? At the summertime. And you run down there and those dresses are in size fours. I'm like, what happened to the 14 though? And then when you go and find the 14, it looks like a parachute. I'm like, uh-uh, I don't want this. I'm gonna start making my own clothes, watch me. 
Joshua could draw and design it, John, we could start sewing. And um, my my cousin Cindy told me just get a shirt Are that you, you like. Who? Yes. All the way over here? Uh, <clears throat> my cousin Cindy told me get a shirt that I like and lay it on top of the fabric and just cut. Here you're not you know, not telling him nothing here. Yeah? Not telling him nothing. He's asking, don't tell him, don't tell him. This guy is trying to go like in the thicker traffic and he's asking Joe to tell him when to go. But let me tell you something about that. You are responsible. If you direct somebody in traffic to come or go and they do it and they get hit, they can sue you, all right? My dad taught me that. Just like, you know, the people who put the door knockers on your door, all these companies that come put their little thing to hang on your door, they can get sued for that because Pac Bell, which is AT&T now, they used to do that when they go out to fix somebody's house and they're not there, they will hang a door knocker and the people were gone on holiday and people broke into their house because nobody removed the door knocker and they sued and won. So people are not supposed to leave door knockers on your door, hunty. They, they're supposed to just like walk away and not leave that stuff. So I'm like, Joe, don't tell him nothing. Don't tell him when to go. Because you're gonna get you're gonna get sued if he get hit. So we're gonna to go to Walmart then home. This Walmart has nothing as usual. So it's a bust. I have to wait for Joe to put gas in. Oh, put gas in right now. And then we'll go to the other Walmart. Not today, I'm tired. I still haven't edited anything at all today, so I gotta go put in some time. Go home and rest for a little bit, then the gym here, Joe. Mm -hmm. He's coming. Yes. Hey, Josh. Hello, Joshito. Uh. Watching your fridge are? Yes, it's almost done. They're mixing. Oh, they Colin are. Colin is mixing. Oof. All the singing is done. Colin is mixing, and Ooh. they're gonna be there till after ten because I guess they want to ship it off to the the um whoever's gonna master it tomorrow. Yeah, daddy, you know your kimono. Get that, Papa.